Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on HBAR. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're looking at HBAR, it's up 5.13%. And that's because the Fed announced that they're going to launch their own CBDC. They're actually talking to Congress about it today. So everything is kind of pumping at the time of making this video. So let's take a look at why you should buy Hedera or why you should hold Hedera. So making a Web3 game about a world beset by climate change is uh, a choice. But it's not a blockchain network. It's on a hash graph consensus network which uses way less energy still seems like it'll have to play and earn stuff which i don't like but here's the thing you we now know hbar and hedera are involved in the gaming world and i believe that's very big plus web 3. i always talk about web 3. i always talk about metaverse i always talk about nfts because these are the things of the future these are things that are going to explode very soon and I will say it again, anything built by Hedera is going to be massive very, very soon. And then we see this. So exciting to see Hedera being used to build massive web 3.0 video games and not sacrificing in quality and performance web 2.0 gamers are used to. This is only possible on a fast, efficient, and cheap DLT network like Hedera. Like I'm trying to tell you, when you look at the price of HBAR, this is a steal of a deal right now. Because anything that has utility and use case is about to take off. Regulations are coming. People will tell you, oh, it's years away. No, it's going to come very fast. And you're going to be sitting back and saying, wow, I wish I would have went all in on HBAR. Or I wish I would have diversified, bought HBAR, bought some Casper. You know, it's not only the X's of crypto that are going to explode. There's a lot of other cryptos that are also going to explode. HBAR is one of them that I see moving very fast to the upside. And I think it has a lot of potential as far as 30, 40, 50 X from where we sit right now. And people still don't see it. This is so awesome. Love the vision. This is gaming next level. And of course, they have chosen the best network for the job. HBAR, Hedera. I mean, you got to keep looking at all this stuff. And this is being built in a bear market. This is stuff that most cryptocurrencies are not doing. Do you think the meme coins have any type of use case or utility? The only one that I see right now is Doge. And that's because Flare is going to give it a use case. Hedera is building an entire network and people still don't see it. And I mean, if you're sitting there and you're saying to yourself, well, you know, I was just on Twitter and people on Twitter are saying HBAR is not a good investment. Listen, those people on Twitter will always tell you that. There's people that will speak negatively about any other crypto than what they're holding. Most of them are Bitcoin maxis. And the rest of them are usually tied to Ethereum somehow. So you got to ask yourself this when you're investing. Should I invest in something that has use case and utility? The future. Financial organizations. It has ties to IBM. It has ties to so many other companies, Boeing. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I could sit here all day and show you use case after use case. And still people will look at it and say, yeah, but it's not Bitcoin. It's not Ethereum. I have news for you. Ethereum is probably going to be gone once Flare launches on July 4th. I think Bitcoin is only going to have a use case thanks to Flare. And I think HBAR and companies like HBAR are going to rule the entire crypto space, in my opinion. 
So, a new formed AAA Gaming, an entertainment studio led by PlayStation veterans, announced today it's working on its debut title, Ashfall, the first true Web3 AAA title for PC, console, and the Hedera Network. I mean, these are people that have been around the gaming industry for a long time, and yet they chose Hedera. Why? Because I believe Hedera is the fuel for Web 3.0. And people still don't get it. Ripple is the Amazon of crypto. HBAR is the Google of crypto. Which project will be Apple and Microsoft of crypto? And that's the thing. I believe HBAR could be the Amazon of crypto, honestly. It's different than every other crypto out there. It has hash graph technology. It's different. So people will always think things are, that are different are not as useful. It doesn't have the same utility. But who knows? We don't know yet where this is going. I could tell you where HBAR is going. But if you don't see it for yourself, no, you're never going to see it. Now on this list, they call HBAR Microsoft. I honestly think it's either Google or possibly Amazon, in my opinion. And then we see this. How is it that Bill Gates says cryptocurrency is a scam when Microsoft are already teamed up with HBAR and QNT? You also got to look at this. Now, a lot of people will say, well, HBAR is only rumored to be ISO 222 compliant. But you got to understand, all of these cryptos are coming together. They're getting tied together. Like with Algorand. Algorand is a bridge for Bitcoin. XDC and QNT are tied together. HBAR and QNT are probably tied together somehow, some way. HBAR could e possibly even be tied to XRP somehow, some way. We don't even know how it's all going to happen yet. But it, all, it, it is all coming together. And the maps show you that. The maps for ISO 222 show you that. The maps for Flare Network show you that. It connects everything. Adara HBAR has Google, Boeing, IBM, Tata, LG, Ubisoft, similar to DAG, as it's also a hash graph based on Gossip Inc. protocol, but more focused on B2B. I personally think crypto has, hasn't reached bottom yet. But some projects will definitely survive, recover, and grow. Hedera Token Service, live on mainnet, 60 plus ecosystem partners, and they are massive partners. These are not just small partnerships. These are the partnerships of companies that are already ruling the entire, you know, Web 2.0. They're, you know, huge throughout the entire world. They're the companies that we could only think about investing in early on. So think about it now. If you're investing in Hedera at these prices, it's like investing in all of those companies. In, all wrapped up into one cryptocurrency. And I mean, look at the names there. You have Ledger, you have IBM, Google, LG, Boeing. And that's just a couple. There is tons of them. And there's a ton of use case. HBAR is going to be massive. And if you're still sleeping on it, you need to wake up. HBAR, based on their partnerships, including Google, IBM, and Boeing. And I'm going to expand this out now. Remember what I told you about maps. When you look at this, you see how it all works. You see the council members. Anything that's tied to IBM is going to be ISO 222 compliant. I'm telling you that right now. Because IBM is so tied to ISO 222, it is incredible to even think that HBAR is not ISO 222 compliant. Then we see this. But do you think of HBAR? It's not ISO 22, 222 compliant, but it's rumored. No, because of its ties with IBM. And I want to end today's video with this. A huge thank you to all the NFT communities building on Hedera. What you've accomplished in a year is incredible. 
looking forward to see what future you build. And that shows NFTs right there. This is in New York City. So now you see HBAR in the real world. You actually see how crypto is going to be part of the real world. It's not hard to see. All you have to do is look. So if you're still sleeping on HBAR, you got to wake up. You got to get in at these prices. These prices are not going to be around much longer. And I make videos about ISO 222 tokens because I want you to see them. They're safe. These are the guarantees. You invest in crypto with going in blind and you could buy something that can crash or it gets delisted from the exchanges because of issues that they have. You know, meme coins, they pump once and then maybe they're done. You know, they rely on people burning it to get rid of a whole, you know, pile of it that's sitting there just to push the price up by a cent or two. When you should be looking at this, the tokens that have true utility, true use case, they're tied to the new financial system. That's why I keep doing videos on them because I want to get people to know these tokens because this is the investments for your future. This is future passive income and it's future, future generational wealth. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.